I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a staging site with WP Stagecoach and move the changes from your staging site back to your live site. So here's the site that I would like to create a staging site with. And the first step is to install and activate the WP Stagecoach plugin. When I activate it, I need to enter in my username and API key, and I get those by signing up for an account on WPStagecoach.com. So I grab the username and API key, and now I can go to WP Stagecoach, and all I have to do to create a staging site is click Ride the Staging Coach. So. Here's my staging site. If I want to, uh, there are SFTP or FTP login credentials here, so I could FTP to the site and make changes that way, but for this video I'm just going to make changes in the WordPress dashboard. So here I am, it says this is your staging site so that I can keep them straight, and we need to update to the latest version of WordPress, and it's always good to test out your changes, so I'm going to click please update now. And now we're updating WordPress, and we don't have to worry about that update screwing up the live site. While I'm at it, let's switch to a new theme. Uh, we'll use 2013 and let's make a new post. And I might as well add a picture to it. Alright, so hit publish. So I've made some changes on the staging site, so let's go back to the live site and click on staging site check. And if I click check for changes, it compares the live site to the staging site and gives me the option to import all of my changes from the staging site. I can import all changes, or I can import just file changes, or just database changes. Um, and I can even select if there are just specific files I want to import, such as the picture of the dog, um, I can s select just specific file changes. Um, you can also select specific database changes, but this is something you should only do if you know what you're doing, because selecting just some database changes could really screw things up. So I'm going to go ahead and click Import All Changes, and click the button, and uh, when you have a lot of file changes, it can take a while to transfer all of those over. Um, but there we go. All of those changes have been applied, so now if I go to the site, I can see I have my new theme, I have my new post, and that's it. When you're done with your staging site, you can go here to WP Stagecoach and click delete when you don't need your staging site anymore. But that's all you have to do.